Hello everybody. So I've just rigged up my Avon rod here with the quiver tip section on in terms of the cargo task. Motorcycle even. And um, we've just rigged up a, um, uh, a feeder method. Just um, fishing a, a whole lob worm just underneath this tree. Close in here. Okay. We've got some lobs here. I've had a pike come and smash one of my roach. Um, in close here. I've just moved from that spot over there around this side because I've not fished over there before and that was slow. Shallow and weedy and um, although we had one bream bite straight away I decided to move into a swim where I knew well, I had a few fish before you see. Fish on people. Look at that for a tench, everybody. Look at that for a tench. Look at that. The size of it. Monster. That's turned into a good session again. Nice, lovely, nice brain that. Didn't even know I had him on. Oh shit. He's gone for over there. Yeah, look at that. You see? Didn't even know I had him on that. I like the lobworms. Sure, yeah. Well, well, well. Oh yeah. Yeah, got a nice little hooked perch there. hammering a little roach. There's um, several pike jumping out of the way, um, jumping out the roach and this is that and the other. Just had a pike grab one of my roach and pulled it off the hook right in front of my rod tips. How, how, how insane is that? But there's some lilies, there's a bloke. Yeah, there's a nice rod. Rod on pallet. Walkies, golden rod. I think it's a roach. Roachy, roachy. I'm on you. Guys, so the tench came on a lobworm and it came from a far right rod. Out in the middle there, about roughly, I don't know, six foot off the bank there. It's lovely and still now at the minute. Lovely and still. 
And would you believe I've run out of bait now? Run out of lobworms. Yeah, the tiny little perch there. Come to play now. 5.30. Beautiful. The old method, look. There's the old. What happened with that? Lost the band. I've lost the bloody band. Perchy. And um, there's a pike off those lilies, and he's absolutely smashing these little roach. But um, yeah, it'd be a good place to. Um, I was going to do some jigging for some perch, but I think you get plagued with a lot of pike. But there's got to be some really, really big pike in here. There's got to be. There's got to be a monster in here. Might give it a go in October. So here we are people, we are um, just dug some lugworm and we're going to um, go for a bass tonight. We're just walking down now, just parked my car up there look. So looking at that, that looks pretty damn bassy to me. Now the wind's eased off, that's going to continue to ease off but that is, it's a little on the big side at the minute but that's going to get easy going to ease off and ease off. So we are fishing people, got the rod up look, just fishing one rod tonight because I'm tired. We've got a reasonable cast out there, it's moving up all the time. Oh, it's got a little bit slack, fishing a multiplier. So what we got in the tackle box. Obviously we've got the lugworms. These are the ones I got dug earlier on, look. There you go. Some nice ones, look. Yellow tails, I think, them ones. And then we just got we've got our um, some hooks, Cas Cas Camasson 4. Phone, a couple of leads, batteries, sandwiches, yes, BLT, got some number twos there as well, five ounce, some amnesia, some Pepsi, it's all happening. everyone look at that elo elo finding slowly finding his way back to sea look look at that 